Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to Get Hit With The Truth. So today we're doing the recap from the ESPN Plus card that took place on Saturday, November 26th, as it saw John Ryder taking on Zach Parker uh, for the vacant WBO interim super middleweight title at 168 pounds. This is a big matchup right here as a potential showdown with Canelo Alvarez was looming for the winner. And, um, you know, uh, everybody was looking at Parker's size uh, advantage and, you know, John Ryder coming off of a big win over Daniel Jacobs earlier in the year. He was hungry and Parker being undefeated. You know, it was just a very big matchup right here at 168. And it was competitive um, as long as it lasted. It was a back and forth kind of fight. Uh, my ESPN Plus was messing up. It wouldn't let me uh, uh, watch the fight. But, um, you know, from what I read and some of the highlights I saw, it was a pretty even match going into that fifth round. And then, um, what's his name? Uh, Parker would break his hand. And um, that would pretty much be it. He wouldn't be able to continue. And uh, the fight is, is rolled. An injury like that, the fight is rolled a TKO in favor of John Ryder as he is now the um, the the interim WBO super middleweight champ at 168 so it was a, a nice win for him he probably would you know wanted a more decisive victory but be that as it may hey it wasn't his fault you know I mean or then again maybe it was his fault that what's his name broke his hand but it's not his fault that an injury happened these are the rules um, you know as Vitaly Klitschko he went through that when he lost that fight to Chris Bird, he was winning that fight uh, handily, and uh, you know tore his rotator cuff, um, you know in his shoulder, and was not able to continue. So the fight was scored a, um, you know a, uh, was scored a, um, you know a TKO for Chris Bird. Then the, um, you know also Jose Cepeda went through that years ago against T Terry Flanagan of the United Kingdom. They, uh, they went at it. It was, uh, you know, in the second round, uh, Zapata hurt himself, and Flanagan went win by a TKO in the second round, and that's what uh, made Flanagan claim the vacant lightweight title at the time. So, you know, this kind of stuff happens. You know, there's no, um, there's, there's no, you know, stopping injuries from going on. A tough break for Zach Parker, though. You know, it was when you're when you're a, a virtual nobody you know in terms of what you've done what you've accomplished parker hadn't really beaten anybody so it was this was a big opportunity for him and then a win you know potentially grabs a canelo fight which is huge i mean that's just such a big deal but um you know he he lost and you know he he knows he was he was competitive with john Ryder, and now he just needs to push forward and hopefully he can get a bigger fight um, in the future, um, you know, and get right back in the mix. And he should be able to. Like I said, injuries happen. He, he'll get opportunities. He's just got to start over. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to get a what's next when I do my what's next videos next week. But John Ryder potentially has landed a Canelo fight. Potentially. We don't know for sure. But he is the mandatory for the WBO belt. And if Canelo passes on him, then... John Ryder becomes a world champion. So this is uh, this was a big win for John Ryder, one that he needed, one he's been waiting for since his uh, you know controversial decision loss to Callum Smith uh, back in 2019. So big time win for uh, you know it was a big win for John Ryder. Congrats to him. Tough break for Zach Parker, but that's my recap from the ESPN Plus card that saw John Ryder and Zach Parker go at it for the vacant WBO interim title. Uh, on November 26th. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.